decorrelated asset. Okay, decorrelated asset. So that means they move in price differently. Yeah, that's what that means. Okay, well, COVID comes along. What happens? Stock market drops 20%. All right, what's Bitcoin do? Drops 65% in two weeks. Oh, shit. What happened to the decorrelated? All gone, all gone. You got to learn. You got to learn from reality. So everyone that was begging for a stock market crash to drive Bitcoin up, oops, oops. Oh, and then what happens? The stock market recovers and makes new all-time highs. So what does Bitcoin do? Recovers more. So it's a risk-on asset that, that because it has a lower liquidity pool, amplifies the movements of the legacy markets. So if the stock market goes up, Bitcoin goes up more, Ethereum goes up more, Hex goes up more because they're thinner markets. So the S&P 500 is the thickest order books. It takes the most energy to move, so it moves up the slowest. Bitcoin moves up with it, but it moves farther because the order books are thinner. Ethereum moves up with that, but it goes farther because the order books are thinner. Hex goes up with those, but its order books are thinner, so it goes farther, right? And you end up with these, these amplified pseudo leverage positions that amplify the volatility of a core thing because they're all interchangeable with each other and they're all tied together by the liquidity in their order books. And then what you do is you have, you do have some choosing of winners and losers. So for instance, the gains that you'll get on something that's less than a year old are likely to outperform the gains on something that's five years old in general because it's, it's easier to exponentially grow the number of users. It's easier to exponentially grow the amount of money that's invested. But even Bitcoin, if you look at its chart, it did this and then started to teal, tilt over and still doing amazing things, but you can see that it's getting heavier. It's, it's pulling over like a flower. That's what it looks like on the exponential chart. So, you know, if you're a chartist and a technical analyst like I am, you care about the chart, you care about the price, there's nothing more important than the price. People talk about, oh, I'm in it for the technology. Nobody is in this for the technology. Everybody is in it to get rich, and that's totally fine because that's what everyone is in every other thing they own for, right? Even houses became a method to get rich. Even houses, the things you live in, were turned into a, a roulette wheel and betting with credit default swaps and, you know, uh, the pooling of uh, mortgage-backed asset, mortgage-backed securities. Like, in a world where everyone's printing free money, everything is being turned into a game to make more money. Everything. So which thing is going to go up the most? Crypto. Because it has. It's proven. Like there's nothing. You are not going to find anything that outperforms crypto ever as long as you live. Ever. You, Hex did 263x this year, not including the interest. It's probably 400x with the interest. And if you're a long staker, it's even more. Because that guy's doing like 30, 40% interest a year. 50% last time I looked. It's insane. Like you can't do that anywhere else at all. And you've got regulatory arbitrage. Like if you want to play games and, you know, defer income and things like that, you got options in crypto. You don't have other places. <clears throat> so if people want to get up to like 10 or a hundred million dollars, mm -hmm. what would their strategy be for the people who have more free money? They got euros, they got Bitcoin, they got Ethereum. How much will they need to invest for what time span? Sure. So some of these questions have false binary choice kind of inserted in there. You could have put $1 in hex. You could have put 50 cents. You could have put 10 cents. You could have put 10 million. It, it, it doesn't matter how much you put that, that because it's like, if, if someone were, so I'm not a financial advisor, which I'm just saying is legally is to cover my ass. Yeah. I, if you compare me to financial advisors, I know a lot more than they do, which is why I'm rich and they're not. It's really that simple. So in general, you probably shouldn't take financial advice from people who are fucking broke. Yeah. Just saying, just saying, yeah. right? If people are actually smart, uh, they should be able to accrue wealth. And I've been a serial success my whole life. I've been retired for 20 years, retired at 25. So... What I care about, so like Hex launched, my quality of life just got worse. I got this pillow. This is what I got right here. I got a nice pillow. But it done something else in my life changes. I already got the best speakers. I got the best TV. I got the best mic. I got the best mic stand. My mic stand's 600 euros. You, whatever. I got the best of all the stuff, right? So my actual quality of life isn't changing based on 
on how much money I have, but my pride and my glory and my wonderful feelings from building something amazing and crushing naysayers and doubters and just shoving it in their face. I love shoving the chart in all of their faces. Guy that founded Litecoin, it's like number four market cap coin, something like that. He said Hex was a, a scam, terrible investment because he didn't understand it, because he didn't look into it. You know, you go to the Hex website, it talks about price. Instantly people's brains turn off. They're like, scam, can't talk about price. No, I can and I will talk about price. I'm sorry that you guys don't because it's the only thing anyone cares about. It's dishonest to not talk about price on your website when it's the only thing anyone cares about. So right on the front page of the Hex website, it says, yeah, this stuff dips all the time. Bitcoin's dipped to zero, basically, depending on what exchange you're on. Then it gets back up. Ethereum, Bitcoin dropped 65% in two weeks, a couple months ago on COVID. Ethereum dropped 75%. Bitcoin's dropped 85% more than three times, you're like, that's the reality. And I talk about it on my homepage on the front, not hidden. Who else does that in crypto? Nobody. Cause I got the balls to tell the truth and, and people are going to participate anyway, cause it's amazing. So why not tell them the truth, you know? So, so this founder, Charlie Lee, who dumped on all of his followers, by the way, sold the top, made the top, dumped on them all, lies about the development that's going on, which is none by the way, or basically none. Uh, he talks shit. The year passes, I don't know, nine months, 10 months, something like that. I get to post on the thread. Hey, Charlie, uh, I got a comparison of your coin and my coin. My coin's up 70X over your coin, bitch. Now what? You gonna pretend that that didn't happen? Are you gonna apologize? Are you gonna block me? What are you gonna do? Silence. Because I'm right and he's wrong. And this happens all the time. <laughs> I murder people on stream, murder them because I'm right. It, it's just like, yeah. So if, it, <laughs> if you want, you want to make money, I'll tell you how some people did it. You go on bitstamp.net. Why do I suggest bitstamp.net? They've been around since like 2013, long time in crypto. They don't sell margin trading that you guys will all get wrecked on. If you margin trade, you're losing all your money. If you trade at all, you're losing all your money. Trust me, you're going to lose all your money. I refer people to Bitstamp, they don't do margin trading. So harder for you to screw up and get wrecked. They don't sell so many garbage coins. Harder for you to screw up and buy the wrong thing. Go to bitstamp.net, buy Ethereum. You're gonna sign up, you're gonna send them a selfie. You're gonna buy Ethereum. Now, you go to go.hex.com or just hex.com. You can turn that Ethereum into hex. But the mechanism to do that goes away in like five days. Can't do it anymore. Right now, you commit your own hex, turn Ethereum into hex. You can even self-refer yourself, get a 32% bonus. Click refer, click your own link. Cool. Now you can make 32% more. As long as you didn't click someone else's referral link, you just clicked yours. That goes away soon. When that goes away, you're going to have to go to the market. And when you go to the market, you're going to push the price against yourself. So right now, there's like $7 million liquidity, $8 million liquidity. If you put in another 4 million, the price jumps up 4X. Now people could sell into that and push it back down, but if in a single market order you, you put in 4 million bucks, you're quadrupling the price of X. So it's kind of good to scale in if you're a larger guy. Or to get in now when you have extra liquidity from the adoption amplifier existing. Um, yeah, that for people that did that, I mean, we've got guys that have paid off home loans, not home loans, but I mean, there's a guy that put in uh, 750 bucks pulled out 30,000, paid off his student loans, and sent me the best thank you video I've ever received in my whole life. This guy's been, I used to do self-help videos, teach people how to quit playing video games, give good apologies, have better relationships. I've written a couple self-help books, which you can download for free if you want, t.me forward slash sci-vive. And, uh, you know, it makes you want to cry when this guy tells you how, you know, you, he can spend more time with his family now because he's got more free time and how he, you know, doesn't waste his time.